welcome to Millionaire Real Estate Agent with Nathan Najib. Today's topic is about this, this thing called excuses or uh, we call it also mooring lines. What is a mooring line is like when you've got a boat or a, or a big um, ship parked up somewhere on the water um, you go and hook it up to, 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 to the line so it doesn't go far, right? It doesn't move far. And one of the things that I hear from my agents a lot is the mooring lines. And the mooring lines can be along the lines of it's the, um, the agents that I work for. Or it could be I'd like to be with a bigger brand because bigger brands sell houses because they're going to I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to magically give you some listings. I have no idea. But these excuses to let them off the hook why they're not successful where they are currently. So the other very common ones like, you know, I'm too young. I'm too old. I am, I am, I am, I am from this side of the, 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 the city or I am those excuses if you want like whatever excuses they may be right and what those excuses really do um is is hold you back yeah it's a good way to, to let, let yourself off the hook but if you want to be realistic if you want to do well in life you need to sit down and have a conversation with yourself that what is the actual problem right and i'll guarantee um I would say 100 out of 100 times is because you are the problem. You're not actually taking, staying above the line. We talk about this quite often, staying above the line, search point of power. What we will do, um, Janisha, we can put, up, put a link to, to point of power. There's a thing called point of power. If you're not familiar with it, it's below the line and above the line. Below the line is like, if you are very tied up to this, to, to, this, to this morning line that you have, the excuse that you have, you'll be like always blaming people. You're blaming the, the, the competition or blaming the, the office that you work for. Um, blaming your, your, your um, whomever you, want, you, you work for, whatever it may be. Uh, or you're blaming yourself, right? You're making excuses. Or you're a total denial. Like, you know, yeah, last year was a, was a bad year. This year is going to be, you know, what is the, 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 or maybe you might even say uh, being in a denial, maybe like, you know, there's nothing, nothing wrong with last year. And last year you had a crap year, right? So in order to do better in life, you need to cut those mooring lines, right? And all those things are totally up to you. So a couple of things. Yes, I understand these toxic offices. Well, probably, like, you know, even then you can probably prospect from the outside, prospect from your car. Like, you don't even need to go to the office. You know, being in real estate sales, you don't even need to be, be in the office. And if it's that hard, that perhaps there's no training there, perhaps there's nobody helping you or guiding you to, to get to the next level. Yes, I understand, because if there's no guidance, it's going to be difficult, very difficult. I appreciate that. Even then, you've got to take responsibility, ownership, and accountability, right? What would be an accountability in that case would be like, okay, well, you know what? I've tried here. I've given them my best. Let me have a conversation with somebody else. Another, a better, better company to work, to, 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 a better leader to work for rather than, com rather than working for, for a company. To be honest, companies are mostly small brands, big brands. They're all like much of a much, right? The only difference that makes is in an agency is the culture the values that they have, the way they deal with, 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 with clients, the kind of support they give you and training, right? Everything else is almost, almost similar. We're quite proud to say like, you know, it's totally different agency than, than, than any other ones. I can say that myself because, you know, we, we got people come here, join us like, wow, this is a totally different um, place, more training, more leadership, um, which I'm quite proud of what we've created. But anyway, so if you are where you are, and you've got these excuses, you need to cut those, yeah? And one of the other things, with, when a market is like this, when a market is a little bit harder than what, what, what it's been for the last two, three years, right? It's a long-term mentality is going to help you win, okay? Because real estate is not a short-term game. If you want to be in a short-term game, be, be in a short-term win, yeah, you, you probably, um, 
win if you work your back off. But the truth is, if this is a career for you, like most of us are, like you don't want to be here for these hundred years, so it's very important for me to give advice to people. That's the truth. Because if you are praising people's houses, like you did, given the prices that they were that we were achieving last twelve months or twenty four months, you're going to be disappointed. They're going to be disappointed. You might get a sale or you might not get a sale. In fact, two listings we just listed in my area, we are selling a lot of housing in West Milton, coming off the back of somebody else over priced, it, priced these, these properties, over promised, if you will. The vendor only wanted 1.4, they said we can give 1.5, and they come to us now three months later. The market is lower now, even more lower than what it was last year, right? So my appraisal between one 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 four five to one two seven five. You see, what happens is you disappoint the vendor. You're gonna probably work a lot harder, and you disappoint yourself, right? You're like, what the hell is wrong wrong with me? Why can't I sell a house? But the most important thing is to have a conversation with people because most people know where the market is. All you need to be, all you need to to do is give them the correct advice. Yeah. The other thing is also having auctioning everything, right? Auctioning everything. Why would you want to auction? You've got to ask question. Why am I auctioning this every, every single property? The reason most people, most agencies, they do go and hit an auction property because they quick money. Auctioning gets paid, the company gets paid. You, as an agent, you destroy your name, right? You got to be very, very careful. Anything that people teach you, you got to question it, okay? See and make sure all that. E Anything, it may be auction, deadline, whatever it is, right? If that's beneficial for your client. Because as I said, this is a marathon, not a short-term short game. I have seen people being in a business for, for, a, for a done pretty well short period and then boom, fall, fall off. Because why? Because they taught the short-term mentality. Just go and give them advice what's best for you so you can get a quick sale, yeah? That's a short term mentality and you don't win short, short term. As a, if you wanna be around for a long, long period of time, right? And then what makes the best of the best sales people is obviously consistency. Giving advice consistently, cutting more and lies consistently because he's always like, you know, he's like excuses, right? So you wanna make sure you stay above the line, keep yourself accountable, right? Energy and confidence, right? You, and in order to build com confidence, you need to learn, you need to study the art of selling, right? How to negotiate, how to list, how to, ne how, how to nurture clients, and how to generate leads, right? You gotta be competent so you are, you, you come across confidence. And you gotta know what the market is doing, you gotta know what the market has done last 12 months. Go out to on our, on, our, on, our webs on our website, we got a whole lot of information, a whole lot of information. In fact, I did a market report just recently. We're gonna put that up as well. So you can you can listen listen to it. There's, there's a video, a couple of videos, and and my prediction on, on on real estate market for next next twelve months. Read that, study that, and there's a more topics there to study because confidence, competence build confidence, and people do appreciate dealing with people who are they know what they're talking about, right? And then of course you they they want to know how much you care first, and then when they know you're good and a beautiful combination. And then the mindset, because mindset, especially in this, this market, which, you know, you might get a listing and you might not get that many people through like you used to, right? Um, the mindset of just walking away from a listing because the vendor's expectation is they're being unrealistic, yeah? Um, in fact, I was, I was at, a, at, a, at a property that last week and they wanted 1718 for it. I showed them comparison, there was houses better than theirs with swimming pool and nice homes, better than theirs on the market for what for around one six five to one seven five, and they wanted between one six to one eight theirs. And I've got similar properties coming to the market at around one one to one two five, right? So I did tell them, Frank, I was Frank. I said, hey, I would love to help you guys sell the property. It will be an absolute pleasure to work alongside you. But I really think your your price expectation is a little bit off my quite a bit with the market would would prefer to pay for it. And they're like, oh, we got somebody else telling, telling us it's worth that much. Well, I said, yeah, you can go with them, just like the one down the road that we listed because they were told the house was worth more. Um, you're gonna be coming back to us. And I'm love, I'd love to help you then, but I think you only get the best time to get the best possible price for your home is to do it right the first time around, right? So those conversations, hard conversations, it's a mindset thing again, right? 
waking up, wake, waking up early, working hard, um, doing after being rejected, going back again and doing it again, making phone calls. You know the prospecting thing I, I talk about all the time between eight to twelve o'clock, being on the phone those those hours because those are going to generate your leads, right? And then. Um, of course, once you start generating these, being able to connect with people, learn the art of connecting with people because it is, it is an art, right? Um, a book that I've suggested in the past, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, um, just a brilliant book. And it just, it talks about like, you know, how we, be, we can best connect with, with people, yeah? Um, so connect, connect with people and of course, follow up and follow through. 80% of agents do not follow through. 80% of agents don't, do, not, do not follow through. And um, majority of businesses are done after second, third, fourth, fifth, sixteenth phone call, right? So having a system also for your follow-up, so you can, you can follow up and follow through, right? Don't want to pass on it, having a conversation and say, hey, you know what caught up last week? What were your thoughts, right? And then also, yeah, we, we're just still thinking about catching up with a couple of other people. Okay, great. I'll send you a proposal. Would that be helpful to you? Send them a proposal and then follow up again, right? And say, what, what, what are their thoughts? What are their thoughts, right? And even you lose the listing, I talk to my team here, even when you lose the listing because this market, not everybody can sell homes. A lot of people can sell, can list properties, but not everybody can sell. You need a skilled negotiator to get your home, get home sold in this, at this stage. And then once again, it's not just about selling houses and cutting people's arms and, and, and stomping on people's head to get a deal together. No, giving people advice from the minute that you see them until you get the house sold and diligently navigate them through the market, regardless of what the market, what the market is doing. Because remember, I've seen this before, I've been around for 16 years, I'm gonna be around for another 100 years. So one of the things that's important for me is we gotta make sure we take care of people because what? You take care of people, the numbers take care of yourself. And I promise it's been true to me. Um, and I hope this has been helpful to you. What the, Joe, I'll leave you with this. Check out one of the mooring lines, write them down and cut them one by one. Cut them one by one. And I promise next time we chat, you'll be a whole lot better off. I hope this has been of help to you. And I'll see you next week.